Just tell us a bit more about going to Steve Martin's house for the first time with actual Steve Martin. Okay. Well, I was staying at the uh, Chateau Marmont Hotel, yeah. and I had been given a uh, open top rental car by the movie company. And uh, on a Saturday morning, I got a phone call. Hey. Um, what are you doing? I said, so who is this? Hey, it's Steve Martin. And I said, oh, hi. And he said, uh, what are you doing today? And I said, I just got up. Have you had breakfast? No. Come over. And I said, well, where do you live? And he said, oh, on Bedford Drive. You go just beyond the Beverly Hills Hotel on Sunset Boulevard. And it's a couple of stops further. You turn left on Bedford. I'm a house that looks like an art gallery, three, you know, a few doors down. So I went. And I'd been warned before working with him that he was very antisocial and difficult to, to get to know. And this, his house at that, it's now been raised and he lives somewhere else um, further up the hills, but in, in Hollywood, but the, the door swiveled on a kind of pivot, um, which I'd never seen before. And Too big for hinges. Yeah. And he had a bottle of Aqua Libra in his, in his hand and he said, hey, welcome. Uh, do you drink Aqua Libra? And I said, yes, I do. <laughs> and then we had breakfast <laughs> and he had all this amazing abstract expressionist American art on the wall, demon corn and uh, stuff. And because I'd done a part of my university, I'd done a history of art course. So I could talk about some of the stuff that he had on his wall, Freud and Bacon and various things. Um, and then, I don't know, some, somehow we got, and it was lunchtime, he said, what are you doing for lunch? He and his wife said to me. And I said, well, I'm, I'm not doing anything. He said, well, let's go to Venice Beach. So then we went to Venice Beach. Then we were rollerblading. And then by the end of the day, he said, what are you doing for dinner? And I said, well, I don't have any plans. He said, you're having dinner with us. So I ended up spending the entire weekend with them. So the man that I had been warned was completely opposite to the person that I met. Um, I suppose we were embraced by both of them and uh, we've remained friends